What's up everyone, welcome to my 14th um, C++ tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys the famous do while loop. So in the last tutorial we covered the while loop and this tutorial we're going to be covering the do while loop. Sounds fun? Oh, it is. So let's go ahead and get rid of our entire while loop. There's one last look at it, so goodbye. Alright. <coughs> Sorry, I got smoker's cough. Alright, in the last tutorial, we uh, made a while loop, and I said it had a test expression and a body. And so does this one, but it's kind of flip-flopped around. What the do while loop allows you to do is it allows you to execute a piece of code at least once before even testing it at all. So, sounds uh, kind of dangerous, but uh, alright, enough with the chit-chat, let's just do it. The first thing, let's go ahead and declare a variable int equals 1. So we're going to, actually let's make int x equals 1. So we have an integer variable x and it's equal to 1. The syntax for your do loop is do. So you better not forget that because it's really easy. Next in your um, body, you want to make your instructions what you want your uh, loop to do just like the loops before so let's make something real easy but kind of fun at the same time we'll make it output on the screen um something clever let's say dentist appointment at two tooth hurdy get it dentist appointment at tooth hurdy it's a little joke my sister told it to me so uh, after that, you can put end line, since we're done with that line. And then we have to increment our variable so it doesn't keep repeating. x e is equal to x plus 1. And right now, what we have is a variable. And no matter what our while loop says, this is going to do this at least once. So it's going to output on the screen, um, dentist appointment at 2.30 aka 230 and then it's going to increment it by one so now that we have that at least once we're going to go ahead and, and uh, build our while loop so we're going to put while and in our parameters we're going to want to put while x is less than or equal to 10 nothing fancy so here's what we got going on here to recap one more time before I show you guys this loop which you guys are just dying to see you have an integer variable x is equal to 1. You're going to do the instructions at least once without any um, fight at all from anything else. And then, after you're done doing it once, it's going to say, all right, now how many times do you want me to do this? Oh, for every time x is less than or equal to 10. So let's go ahead and do this 10 times. All right. So enough of the chit chat. Execute, compile, and run this baby. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. So right now we have dentist appointment at 2.30. And this is beca because this variable was true. So it ran this. And then since it was true for 10 times, it ran it 10 times. So, but if you're asking, all right, what if this is false? What if you have a variable like 55? where x equals 55 so you're going to output it on the screen but um when it gets to this it's false what's going to happen well what should happen if i didn't mess anything up it should run this code dentist appointment at 230 at least one time and by at least one time i mean run it one time and then when it gets to this it should not do anything else so execute compile and run Compiling, compiling, come on, baby, no whammy, no whammy. That's what I'm talking about. So it ran it one time. Dentist appointment at 2.30. So those are your basics for a do loop. Again, declare a variable, run the code at least once, and then test it and tell it, if it's true, still, how many times you want it to run. So it's simple enough, and this uh, loop is useful in a lot of different applications, but... We won't get into that for now. For now, you should be studying this loop, probably rating my video a 5 out of 5. 
And once you learn this, you can move on to my next tutorial. So thanks for watching now. See you guys next time.